Hi and welcome back and today we're reviewing and using this little baby. It's the Works Nitro. It's a Hydroshot. Now can you remember going back some time ago I did a review and used this baby. I've had this one for four years. It's 56 bar. Now the original one was 22 bar and I love this to bits this one but is this really the replacement? First off we're going to be opening the box. There is chapters along on the bottom there so you can jump to each section. But the best bit is going to be me using it because I really want to know if it's any good in comparison to the other one really. But that'll be coming up in the next video. Right, so let's get straight on with the video. So this is exactly what comes in the box. You've got your guarantee, which is three years. And don't forget to register. And obviously a little leaflet. You've also got your booklet to go with it as well. And that tells you all different things. Now this is exactly what comes in the box. Now we'll show you this. This is a quick attachment. It doesn't usually come with anything and I didn't have one previously. What's handy is you don't have to take that out of there to put that in. Now on the original one you'd have to unscrew this and then screw that in. With this one you don't need to. This just simply attaches to this. I'll show you for example. So this screws up like this and that would go into your coca-cola bottle and that's your quick release. So it just pops in like that. A nice little feature. Hey, look at this. The filter is built in. Now on the original one, you'd have to unscrew that and take it out and clean it. With this one, you can just pop out your finger like that and clean it. A great feature is this part. This is nice because it keeps your battery nice and dry. Now on the top here, you do have an eco mode. On the original one, it was a low and high. Well, they've actually called it an eco mode. You press this on to start up and you press it and it goes green. Yep, and there we go. Brushless motor. Also, what comes with it is this. It's your end of your lance, which you've obviously seen previously. Very easy. And all this does is quick, quick attachment like this. Nice one. And this is the only lance you get in it. The large version. If you want to buy any shorter versions, you've got to buy it. All right. And once again, it's a simple connection like this. Push it in. It's the same as the old one. If you've never had one of these before, it's simple to put it in and out. That goes into your water tub and that goes on there. And I've got to say, that is a better quality one than the original. The original one was pretty ropey, to be honest. And for changing your filters, which is very important, or cleaning them, once again, you pull it out. These are available on eBay and Amazon. They're cheapest, cheapest chips. Put that in there like that. Screw down. Now with these type of things, don't over tighten them because they are plastic, all right? There you go. Nice. So there's nothing like it. We now need to go and try it out and see what it's like. Now I won't be comparing, in this video, I won't be comparing this to the previous one. We're going to just test this out singly and then I'll do another video on a like for like, just to see the difference between this one and the lower version. All right, so let's get outside and test her out. So first of all, let's start off with the setup. And if you're doing this one-handed, best of luck, because this, as you can see, will come up but you're going to be all thing, fingers and thumbs, believe me. So you've got to open this up, hold it back, and then pop in your battery, which looks very awkward, doesn't it? So first thing off, it's very awkward designed for this, okay? This one, just straight in. There we go. And this will fit on the end. Just pull it back like that and pop it in. Hey, wicked. Now for your siphoning. <laughs> Make sure that is submerged into the water, get it to the bottom and then hook this on the side. This does help. Get it to the bottom like that. That does float on the surface, but I find it just a complete waste of time really. So for starting it up, it's the same as the previous one. Hold it in and press. Okay. Now to put it in eco mode, 
you've got to press this and hold that in. Okay, so you know your eco mode is switched on. Now to start off, you do need to get the water into here. And all you need to do is just hold the key, press it on and keep putting it through until the water actually comes through. It does take a few minutes. Oh, there it is. And I'm getting sprayed. It does take a few minutes. Oh, there we go. That's wicked, isn't it? So let's try it on the floor out of interest. We'll put it down here and see exactly what it does. This is one for doing concrete, but we'll try it first of all and see what it does on concrete first, as it is. So that's full power. Will it work with this? Now this is designed for a pressure washer. It's actually a water brush <laughs> or water broom. Basically the water comes in through here and sprays out the top. Now the bottom of this usually goes under the car or you can turn it round and it does concrete. So let's try this down on the concrete and see what type of effect it does. Very simple connection. It's exactly the same as the other piece. All you do is pop it into the end like that, a quick connection. So this would be fun. Yes, working well, isn't it? And if you're doing under a car, you turn it over and it does this. All right, this is 15, so we'll do this over here just to see. Hmm. It's coming off. But it looks as though it'll take all day to do. And even with the pin one on the end, the zero, this will be two pointed. See? That'd be good for your mountain bikes. So what do I think about this so far? Just on the concrete, I would say you're better off with a power washer. This is inadequate for doing concrete. It can get some stuff off. Now, some people, I mean, would have probably took notice of what the video shows. In the video that works do, it quite clearly shows you this cleaning off wood. Do I think this would do this on its own? Probably not. You'd probably have to buy some type of attachment to go on the end here to make it work. And they do a brush attachment, which it costs you a fair old chunk of money. Now for a push bike, this is gonna be adequate. It's great. It's got that extra power that the previous one didn't have. So on our next test, I'm gonna be testing out with snow foam. Now this is what most of us see. This is for a, a proper pressure washer. Now it'll be interesting to see if this will work as good as the works version. Now this works version, I picked up, I've had it a long time, I had it with the previous model. This will cost you 12 pound a day, all right? Cheap and cheerful, there's no adjustment on it. Now in equivalent to this one, now this one has cost me 14 pound off of Amazon some time ago. On the top here, this is your full adjustment and this is also adjustable for 14 quid. And that's a quick connector. The same as on the works, very simple and easy thing to use. One thing I will be mentioning, these. Now also, if you wanted to use this type of product, now these are cheap and cheerful. They don't cost a lot of money. In fact, the attachments on the end probably cost more. Once again, they fit your works exactly the same way. And you can buy a smaller piece to actually work it as well. Nothing like quick, quick easy attachments, isn't it? But these are stainless steel, and as you can see, this looks like ropey plastic, doesn't it? This is plastic versus stainless steel. And you can buy a little attachment to go in here, and then that will attach on there, and you can put whatever you like in there. Right, so let's get on with the snow foam. So we're now ready for our snow foam, so let's get on with it. Car's out here, so let's have a look and see what we're going to be doing. We're now going to spray this all with snow foam. 
Now we're going to be trying out the hydro shot. And remember, this has got 56 bar. So we're all ready for the off. There she is, she's up and running. Just check the water pressure first. Yeah, so we're gonna take that end off and put that one on. Like that, pull them out. And all we do is put this one on. In here is Auto Gleam's Polar Foam. So if you've used that before, you know how foamy it is. So this is coming out a straightforward lance. This is, remember, this cost me 14 quid. Don't look like much pressure, does it? Now that's pretty bad, isn't it? So let's pressure, let's change that a little bit. No. So for the works version, you've got to take this off. Okay. And you connect it like this. All right. And that's the works version. So let's see what the works version does. Just in case you're wondering, polar foam. Mm, not really coming out like a pressure washer, is it? There is no adjustment on this at all. So that is how it comes out. All right. Remember, this has got 56 bar. So it should be up to it, shouldn't it? And of course, for taking it off, we need this little baby in here. And that just goes straight in, like that. So let's see how this works. Comes off quite well, doesn't it? So at the moment, is it okay? Mm. So after my earlier testing, I thought we'll try something different as well. So once again, this time I'm using this smaller version. This is from my older works hydro shot. So we'll put that in. Now, after I put a little bit of a short video on yesterday, someone said to me, use the shorter nozzle. And also I've changed it for a better quality cannon head. So this was the 14 pound one and this was the 30 pound one. Obviously it's a plastic bottle, but you get, you get me drift where I'm coming from. And also for spraying off, we're gonna be using these instead of the long part, okay? All this stuff you can get off Amazon or eBay. And everything I noticed when I was using it is when this touches the ground, it scrapes. So what I've done is I've put a bit of carpet on the end, stuck on there, so it stands proud. So when you lie it down, it doesn't get damaged. So what I'll do is pop that, pop this in very easy connector remember and let's go for it so this may be completely different wow look at this you'd never think that that would make any difference would you a more expensive snow cannon and a, a smaller adapter oh huh. it just proves the point that's almost going on as good as a pressure washer So obviously it doesn't foam up like obviously a pressure washer, but it does have a lot better foam on there than the previous one. Now, obviously this one was 14 pound with a plastic thing and this was 30 odd quid. Now there is a difference between the two. So if you're looking on Amazon, if you're paying a little bit extra, you know that you'll probably get a better job. The cheaper one, cheap and cheerful, it does the job with a pressure washer. But if you're using the works, probably get yourself a better version. Now with these ends, we're gonna stick one in and see what happens. Again, you can buy these off Amazon. They're cheapest chips. Pop one in. And as I said, this is a small connector. Once again, you do have to buy it as an extra to go with this 56 bar version. So let's have a go and see what happens. Ooh, look at that. Now that's more powerful, isn't it, folks? Now you'd normally be leaving this a little bit longer than this, but the snow foam isn't like it comes from a pressure washer but it's a lot better than it was out of the works version. And you can see this. Turn it around. Look at that.
Now I've put the green end in. I think that's a little bit more powerful. Mm. Not much in it. Me testing this out today, what I would say to you is, if you're using this type of thing out in this light, and now I'm just gonna leave this, this is distilled water. So you can just leave it on the car and walk away because it's almost like rainwater. Now, if you're using limed water, you really need to wash the car off properly. Otherwise you'll have water marks all over your car. So let's get back in and finish off the review. Wasn't that exciting folks? Now, I can tell you now, which do you think is best? One or the other? Well, that is a question for another video. But from my point of view, these models are both really good. There's no doubt about it. After a second go with using this one, it is actually slightly better than this one. Only marginally. But let's be fair, this one has got 22 bar and it's around about 315 PSI against this one, which is... 56 bar, which is 810 PSI. So this is more or less a pressure washer in respect, and it can do a lot more than this one. But this is where it all boils down to it. The quality of this is really good. The only downside, and I will tell you straight, it weighs a bit. It is weighing a lot. With that battery in there, it weighs a ton against this one. And as you can guess from the width, yes, there's a difference, isn't there, between the two. But needless to say, one is slightly better than the other. And I'm not gonna bang on about that 24 seven because let's be fair, this one was a little bit dearer. Now, what type of person is gonna be buying one of these? It's definitely gonna be somebody who does gardening, mountain biking. It's a general person who could be buying one of these. Most car enthusiasts probably would only be buying it for using in the field and they've most likely got a pressure washer and God knows what else to clean their cars. So the unlikely of anybody really wanting to buy a, a snow foam gun for this for their car is very unlikely, unless you're miles away from running water. I've given this a good test. You've seen the videos. Now, what do you think? Pop it down in the comments down below what you think of what I've done, because at the end of the day, I will be using this over and over. I'll be washing my car with it and the van and I'll be doing other videos with it. I do own it, I didn't, I didn't get given it. And my previous one, like I said before, this is four year old. And I thought, I want an upgrade on this one. Is it worth your while buying one of these an upgrade or not? Well, my always complaint with the early one is it needed more pressure. Now I've got more pressure, am I excited? To start with, I wasn't. But I realized now that to use this how you want to use it, you need to buy accessories for it. And they do cost a bit, unless you're buying the ones off of Amazon. For example, these little babies are from Amazon and they were very cheap. And there's no doubt about it, they were cheap. But if you're gonna buy anything else from Amazon, depending on what it is. Now, realistically, you do want the shorter version. That's the one they put in standard and that's the one you want. Now let's be fair, between the prices, let's get down to the bottom line of this. And that's what most of you wanna know. Today, that is gonna cost you 129 pound. Now the other version, which comes with all the accessories, is gonna cost you just around about the 200 pound mark. Now let's get down to this one, 149 quid all day long. And that comes with all the accessories you need. Ah, I know it's a bit of a dilemma, but remember this is only 22 bar and this is 56 bar but you'll have to pay 200 notes for it to get all the accessories and then you still don't get everything. Oh, okay, so just remember that. Now, portability of these products, because the fact is you can take them anywhere you want. They'll go in the back of your car, in the back of your van and storing them, you can put them in a cupboard in the shed and forget about it. These are easy to store. Anybody who wants to buy one, easy storage. I mean, look how easy it is. You can just pick them up, whichever one you want, pick them up and put them away in a box or wherever, or have a little hanger and hang them up. It's that easy. That's how portable they are. The batteries on the other hand, I can tell you now, now if you're using that smaller battery, it's gonna be half the time of the bigger battery, all right? 
So if you can say, for argument's sake, if that's 30 minutes, that's an hour, okay? But that is only down to you using it, all right? Now, I haven't looked at the proper run times on these because there was no point. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not covering run times because it's that's personal because you could be switching it on and off, on and off, or running on eco mode, whichever the case may be. And I'm sure there's tons of videos out there that will tell you run times. And I'm not really interested in run times because I'm washing a car or washing a van and I just want to get on with it. I'm not really interested. I've got a battery and I've got spares. Okay, so we just get on and do the job, don't we? Once again, water source. So this generally is just for clean water in a bucket. Please don't put it in a pond. As much as they say, put it in a pond, don't do that. Because all you're going to do is drag up all the mud and the rubbish in that pipe. I've done a test on it. I've seen it. It only drags up the rubbish. But if you do have any questions, pop it down in the comments below the video. And there we go, folks. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did so, please subscribe and please share. And don't forget to check out the description because I'll put everything about this down in the description. And we'll see you again very shortly on Auto Gleam Truths. Laters!